Joining us on JBS Canada Bandits TV is forward TJ Hughes. Um, it's weird saying your name like that. Usually I'm really enunciating and yelling your name, especially Saturday. What a fun game that was, TJ, up in Spruce Grove. Uh, we'll get to the result in a second, but just how much fun was it uh, for the team to play in such a, a high, intense, and close game? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, after each period, like all the guys would just be like, this is so fun, guys. Like We have a game. We got to come back. We got to we got to compete tonight. Let's like let's keep going. Let's go. Everyone was, everyone was so positive too on the bench and in the room, and it was it was a great time. Yeah, I mean we haven't been in a, a, a situation like that yet this year of facing that kind of deficit, but it seemed like your group was able to keep a lot of composure there, and obviously because you were able to get back in the game. Yeah, we uh, we have like we fight every like every game every night, and we we kind of got down for kind of like once the first time of the season, and we just kind of took it as a chance to, to show everyone that we can come back from any, any deficit, and we did, so it was awesome. Okay, I won't ask, I'm not going to put you on the spot about the call on Cal McAllister at the end of the first period, but just how difficult was it losing him, but how impressed with, were you with your other teammates stepping up in his absence? Yeah, Cali, he's huge on our team, as everyone knows. Um, he's crucial to our lineup every night, and he, he contributes every single night, so it was, uh, it was hard to, to have him out, but everyone kind of picked up bootstraps and played great with his absence. Yeah, and, and especially, you know, with you know, the two goals you were able to score, uh, that one goal, that scramble on the net there where it, it looked like it just uh, was sitting there in the crease, what was going through your mind? Yeah, I just wanted to get to the net because we were kind of desperate for a goal at that time, so I just kind of saw it trickle out behind the net and I kind of wrapped it around quick and was fortunate to score. Okay, so what does the team learn from a game like that? Um, just kind of, we got to play a full 60. We kind of had like a five minute breakdown where they scored a couple goals. So um, we kind of got to fix that a little bit and just play full 60 every night and we'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, and it, it's, it seems like from our perspective, those games are just so much more fun when you're in those battles that go into the extra time. It, it, it hadn't been since last year since we've had an overtime. Uh, is it more fun in the, on the bench, in the dressing room, when you're in the, those type of games as opposed to some of the other games we've seen this year? Yeah, it's, it's so fun, especially they had, a, they had a sick crowd that night, so it was even, it was even nice with that. And yeah, overtime's always fun. Um, it's, it's, uh, it can be some, there can be some pressure, but... Um, like, I feel like we love the pressure, especially the bandits, so it was, it was great. Okay, and I'm hearing a few people start to imitate me with uh, the, the goal call there on uh, your name. Uh, be honest with me, you love it, you hate it, you want me to stop. What do you think there, TJ? <laughs> no, I love it. Keep doing it, Cross. Awesome. Thanks for doing the interview and uh, continued success. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. TJ Hughes joining us on JBS Canada Bandits TV.